Larry, thank you for joining us, and it's it's great to see you. Great, Raghu, it's great to be it's great to be here. The VMware and Oracle partnership has been thriving over the last couple of years, and it's great to see the joint solutions we have delivered in the marketplace uh, to our customers. Before we dive into the partnership, it would be great to hear from you what trends are you seeing and what's driving your thinking and Oracle's thinking. Well, I, uh, there are several, several things. Uh, one is uh, we're gratified by uh, the, the fact that you know, the latest report uh, that surveys IaaS and PaaS services uh, for the second year, year in a row, uh, Oracle's out there trying to join the big three, right? So uh, we were, you know, we were the kind of the fourth player uh, in all of this, and but we're the most improved player over the last couple of years. And by the way, the VMware partnership has helped enormously. We have a, a number of customers and a lot of nodes r running our partnership with Zoom and others uh, has allowed us uh, to make the investments necessary. Uh, now that there's, a, we think Oracle is now a fourth major player among uh, among the uh, cloud infrastructure providers. So that's a, a big deal. Multi-cloud, I think, is a big deal. As, as you get, because there's really two separate cloud businesses. There's the application business, and then there's the infrastructure business. And as customers pick applications uh, from cloud application companies and pick infrastructure from cloud infrastructure companies, they need to interconnect these clouds. They, they're not going to be using one cloud. Uh, and in fact, they need to interconnect their on-premise workloads with their cloud workloads. They need to interconnect their infrastructure cloud provider with their application cloud provider. So this whole idea of multi-cloud is, is going to be very important, important going forward. It used to be people thought, well, I'm just going to move everything to Amazon. And I think, I, I think that's not going to be the case. Amazon's very good at, at some things. Actually, I think Oracle uh, and VMware are, 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 very, are very good at, at, at some things. And they're going to want to pick the best technology available at the best price available. And that's going to mean having multiple clouds in their future. So multi-cloud, extremely important. Hybrid cloud, interconnecting uh, on-prem uh, to, uh, to public clouds. And, uh, and application clouds, interconnected infrastructure clouds. I think all that's going to be a huge trend as the, way, as the center of gravity of computing moves from on-premise to the cloud. Yeah, yeah, couldn't agree more. And in all of our conversations with customers, we are seeing exactly the same thing. Customers wanting to use a variety of clouds for different reasons because they're all good at lots of different things and connecting their on-premise uh, to, to uh, the various cloud solutions. And coming to our partnership, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the Oracle Cloud VMware solution, which uh, was activated a couple of years ago. And we have started to see very good uh, interest from customers. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about um, what you're hearing from customers that are using the solution along with the rest of OCI? Yeah, I, I think one of the things we tried to do is make it very easy to lift up an existing VMware um, estate and move it into the cloud without redoing your network, without redoing your network architecture. So uh, as you know well, Raghu, I don't, I don't want to dive too deep in, in, into the underlying technology, but we have an L2 implementation, network, net, network implementation. So you, you don't have to change all your IP addresses. You don't have to do all this stuff. You can lift up an existing uh, VMware configuration and move it largely unchanged into an Oracle public cloud very easily uh, and, uh, and, and very, very quickly. And the interesting thing is the network, the network addresses you have uh, uh, allow you to isolate when you, when you lift and shift. So quick lift and shift is part of it. So with, with our L2 implementation, the other thing that's interesting about that is uh, because we control the, the network addresses are all virtualized, of course, uh, we can isolate the VMware estate from other, other, other customers or even other estates in the same company. So we give you a level of security because of that, because of that network architecture that what, once it's moved, uh, other people, neighbors, can't address uh, your storage systems, 
can't address your compute systems. So you, we really provide that level of isolation uh, to, to guarantee security. And that's a very big deal in a, in a world uh, of ransomware. So quick lifting and shifting, uh, security built in all because of our, our, our unique approach of an L2 implementation. And, and, and a, in a world where ransomware is getting uh, more and more common, I think this becomes more and more important and, and, and more important to our customers and therefore a, and a very important offering of, for uh, VMware and Oracle to deliver, deliver to those customers. Yeah, and uh, we have seen some good customer wins like Maxims and um, uh, Rumor Logistics, which is the biggest uh, um, operator, uh, railway operator in Brazil, and many, many others uh, uh, as well. This is super exciting. No, exactly. That's in, in Hong Kong, retailers in Hong Kong, uh, railways in Brazil moving that have proved that, that you know, they can move, move these uh, estates over, save money, and get better security. Yeah, that accelerates their whole journey to the cloud and their whole journey to the modernization of their application portfolio as well, because they can then connect it to all of uh, uh, the, your assets that you've got in the databases and the applications and everything else that's uh, in the Oracle cloud. So um, that's a great start to OCVS and our teams are working great together. What do you see going forward for the solution and uh, what customers can look forward to? Well, I think, I think again, uh, some of the unique, unique things that we offer together uh, are uh, an environment uh, where security is always on. Uh, you know, the, uh, the approach or, you know, Oracle takes to security is, it is not an optional feature that you buy. We don't have a long list of parts that you order this security and that security and that security. Uh, everyone gets security. There's no uplift. You have to have security. You have to have that level of isolation to, uh, to protect your data. It's not you choose to encrypt, you, do, you choose not to encrypt. No, <laughs> encryption is always on. Encryp you know, encryption at rest, encryption, encryption on the net. It's all, we don't give you the option. The other thing I think is very important that people are going to be looking forward to and is critical, I think, for the future, for the future of cloud computing is autonomy, autonomous systems. The only way, the only way to guarantee that your data is not going to be stolen is to ask your people who are doing implementations over there at AWS not to make any mistakes, not to misconfigure something. Uh, if human beings, if, if the infrastructure that you're running on is manually configured and a human being makes an error, your data is at risk. So everyone thinks of autonomous systems, whether it's uh, an autonomous system from Tesla that's gonna drive you from the restaurant at home in the evening uh, as a convenience. Well, it's, it's more than a convenience. Uh, the autonomous system is much less likely to have an accident and crash your, your Tesla when you're coming home from dinner. The autonomous database at Oracle and the auton autonomous Linux systems that make up our infrastructure uh, we never miss patches because it's the computer that does the patching. The computer does the patching immediately when the, when the patch is available and it does the patching while we're live. Just like I, I, I can point out when you're moving a VM workload from on-premise into the cloud, you can move that workload while you're running. You can actually do that work. I mean, it's amazing. Same thing for security, a patch, a patch becomes available you don't look for a patch window to take your systems down and patch it. That patch window is, you know, if you wait two days to patch, that's two days of vulnerability. We can't afford that. So we have to patch while we're, while we're on, uh, be able to do, the, do these things while the systems are running. And it's got to be the computer, uh, our robots, our AI, our machine learning that, that is, has automated all this stuff and does it autonomously. So your data is safe. It's not going to be stolen. And that's what the ransomware guys do, right? They take the data, they encrypt it, uh, and then they offer to sell you the key. Uh, and, and that's going to get worse before it gets better, but not for our customers. We'll protect our customers. Yeah, that's a very similar philosophy to what we have at VMware as well. We call it intrinsic security to build it in. 
and uh, um, that's great. So these are a very exciting set of developments and the go forward and look forward to the collaboration between the two teams. It's been great to, um, to work with your teams to bring the solution forward. Thank you so much for your time, Larry. Raghu, th thank you very much. And we're, we're looking uh, towards growing our business and making a lot of customers very, very happy. Thank you for taking your time. Yep, thank you.